For book one, proposition number 27 of Euclid's Elements, if a straight line falling on two straight lines make the alternate angles equal to one another, the straight lines will be parallel to one another. So if we start with two lines, AB and CD, and we have a third line, EF, that falls on top of these lines. And we know that the alternate angles, this angle AEF and this angle DFE, are equal to each other. Then our goal is to prove that the lines AB and CD are parallel. Okay, this symbol here with the two lines next to each other, this represents the symbol for parallel lines. And the way to prove that these two lines are parallel is to first make the assumption that AB is not parallel to CD. So AB is not parallel to CD. And once we make this assumption, what we know is that if two lines aren't parallel, then they have to meet at some point. So let's assume that the lines AB and CD meet on the right hand side here though we could assume that they meet on the left-hand side and use the exact same argument. So if they meet on the right-hand side, we can extend these lines to some point that they're going to eventually cross at. And let's call this point out here, G. And what's important to notice is that EFG actually forms a triangle. Since AB is a straight line and CD is a straight line, we know that they wouldn't actually have these bends in it here, though due to drawing restrictions, it's shown that way. But let's just assume that EFG is actually a triangle. And with that assumption, we know due to book one, proposition number 16, that the exterior angles of a triangle are always bigger than the opposite interior angles. So in other words, this angle here, AEF, would have to be bigger than this angle here, DFE. So let's write that, that the angle AEF would have to be bigger than the angle DFE. Though we already know that the angle AEF is equal to the angle DFE, since that's what we started with. So this angle can't be both equal to DFE and bigger than it, so that's a logical contradiction. So this can't be true, which means that our assumption can't be true. Or essentially, these two lines aren't going to meet. And like I said, we could assume that they met on the left-hand side and use the exact same argument. And if we look at definition number 23 of Euclid's 23 definitions, we have that parallel straight lines are straight lines which, being in the same plane and being produced indefinitely in both directions, do not meet one another in either direction. And we've just proven that these two lines can't meet, otherwise we lead to some logical contradiction. And since they can't meet, that means they have to be parallel. So we've just proven that AB has to be parallel to CD if these alternate angles are equal. So we can end this with QED.